Hello viewers, good day. My name is Mr. Nyati, your presenter. I'm here with another video which is basically a continuation uh, uh, on, on metals and it's a basically, a basically a continuation from where we ended last time. We talked about uh, the, 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 effects of, the effect of heat on nitrates. Today we are going to look at uh, the, the extraction of iron. And this is a 2019 past paper and the, in section C, uh, the first question in section C, a question came we are, which is relating to iron and this is what we are going to basically look at. So uh, we get started, but before we get started, may I suggest that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell button, hit the like button, share the video and also leave a comment on the comment section. So the question starts by saying, iron is extracted from its ore in a blast furnace. Then we have a blast furnace here, which is a kiln. We have coke plus X plus Y being put into the blast furnace. Then you have waste gases coming out of the outlets and the, the bottom inlets. You have hot air going in. And then the, the near uh, bottom, that is just after the bottom uh, inlets, you have an outlet of molten slag and finally an outlet of molten iron. So now before we go to the question, let's understand what is going on here. What we need to understand is that uh, uh, during the extraction of iron, iron is basically extracted from its major ore, which is called hematite. So hematite is the ore from which iron is extracted. We need to understand that the iron ore is hematite. Hematite. This is the, 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 the name of the ore and it's written as... Uh, that is the, its its chemical name. It's iron three oxide, and the chemical formula is iron uh, oxide. Iron three oxide. Now look at the way I'm writing this. There is a big difference between this and this. So some of you have failed the exams. Not that because you didn't know the answer. You knew the answer, but the way you presented it. Okay? In science, this is not capital F. Okay? This is small letter F. And there is no such uh, compound as this. And also, remember that when you are writing this, you, the capital letter must be vividly seen, and the subscripts must also be seen. Even the oxygen, the symbol for oxygen must also be seen. Okay, so this is wrong, this is correct. So this is the how you write iron uh, 3 oxide and this is the chemical formula for the, uh, the, the iron ore. Now, whenever, when, when, when the extraction of iron is happening, what you need to understand is that a blast furnace is built or a kiln is built and then three things are put into the blast furnace, okay? Three things are put into the blast furnace. Number one, you have the iron ore itself, iron ore, which we are calling as hematite. The other thing that is put into the blast furnace is uh, coke. The other name for coke uh, is basically carbon. Okay, the third thing that is put in the blast furnace is limestone, limestone. The other name is calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate. So these are the three things that are put into the blast furnace. And these three are referred to as charge. So when you hear that charge is put into the blast furnace, the composition of charge is these three, okay? Now these three are put into the blast furnace and then the blast furnace, basically it is uh, when the blast furnace is being heated and then these are added into the blast furnace, then the process begins. So we go to the questions now, just after establishing that. The first question says, uh, so before we go to the question, let's understand here we have said, there are three things that are put into the blast furnace or the charge is put into the blast furnace and the charge consists of one, iron ore, coke and limestone or hematite, coke.
cork and limestone. So, and the carbon, calcium, if you like. So if you want to go the chemical name way, you can say iron ore or iron three oxide, carbon and calcium carbonate, or hematite, cork and limestone. So now, here, what we've been given is cork. So what are the two? The two, one is hematite, or iron ore, or iron three oxide, and the other one is limestone. So the answer to this question, question uh, A, we are saying that X is iron ore, iron ore, or hematite. You can choose which one you like. Then Y is uh, limestone. Limestone, if you don't like lime, to use limestone, you can use calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate. Okay, so that is the, the answer to the first question. Now, as this process is going on, as this process is going on, you need to realize that there are a series of equations that take place. Now, I may not present them in the order that they happen, but for the purpose of understanding and remembering what this is all about. So now, what really happened in the blast furnace? A series of reactions take place. Number one is that uh, in the blast furnace, uh, the first thing that you need to understand is that uh, carbon burns in air to produce carbon dioxide, okay? Carbon does burn in air to produce carbon dioxide, okay? And uh, uh, you need also to understand how to write the chemical uh, equation for this reaction. So we are saying carbon reacts, when we say air, it's oxygen basically, burns in air to produce carbon dioxide. Uh, gas. Okay, this is one of the first one of the things that happen in the in the blast furnace. Then the other equation that takes place it is basically this carbon dioxide which has been produced reacts with more coal in order to produce uh, carbon monoxide, and this reaction is referred to as a reduction. Now, this reaction, if you like, could be called combustion, okay, where carbon dioxide is being produced because of the burning of carbon uh, in, in the presence of oxygen. So here we are saying carbon dioxide produced reacts with more coke to produce carbon monoxide. So you have the carbon, okay, reacting, more carbon reacting with carbon dioxide produced so that carbon monoxide uh, could be produced. This is carbon monoxide gas. So here you can put the two here in order to balance because we have two carbon and two high oxygen so that it can be balanced. This is one of the uh, another series of reaction or another uh, re uh, another reaction that takes place in the uh, 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 blast furnace. The other thing which I need to mention is that. Carbon dioxide is, on, is not only produced uh, in the reaction of carbon plus oxygen. No, there is a process that I'm going to remind you, hold that thought for now, because I'm going to come back to that. So the other thing is that the carbon monoxide produced, this one, is now used to reduce iron ore or, magne or hematite to iron metal. Okay? So the, the, uh, the, the carbon monoxide produced now reduces the iron oxide to uh, iron metal. And this is what basically happens. So you have this iron 3 oxide, okay, being reduced by carbon monoxide gas to iron metal and carbon dioxide gas. So this is what basically happens. So we need to balance this equation. We have two iron this side, this side one, we put a two here, and then uh, 
2, 2, oxygen uh, 3, plus this one 4, this side we have oxygen 2, what about carbon, so how do we balance this one? So we need to put a 3 here and a 3 here, the equation becomes balanced. There is one of the videos that I did when I was explaining on uh, section A, I think it is 2023. I basically did a balancing of equation and I explained how you can balance equations there. Then apart from that, there is another reaction which takes place and this reaction is basically the uh, uh, decomposition of limestone. Remember limestone is calcium carbonate. So the calcium carbonate that has been produced basically, decom uh, that has been in so I need to say that the iron, the calcium, the calcium carbonate or limestone is not produced. It's added into the blast furnace. Now, that limestone, because of the heat, remember I'd said carbon dioxide is not only produced by the reaction of carbon and oxygen gas, but there is a process which I said, hold that thought for now, and I've come back to this, that due to heat, the limestone decomposes to lime and calcium, I mean carbon dioxide. So because of heat, uh, remember thermal decomposition occurs when there is heat on calcium carbonate. So the calcium carbonate, uh, because of heat, decomposes to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. So this is another way by which carbon dioxide is produced. And so, when we say carbon dioxide produced reacts with more coke, we are not only talking about this process, uh -uh. or we are, we are not only talking about this process where carbon dioxide is produced by the burning of coke, no. But we are also taking into consideration of the fact that uh, the carbon, uh, calcium carbonate decomposes to produce calcium oxide and uh, carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide which is produced in both of these reactions basically is the one that is reacted with coke in order to produce carbon monoxide in the reduction of carbon dioxide. Then the last equation that you need to know is that uh, uh, the limestone reacts with the sand to form calcium silicate. Now, basically, what you need to know is that the lime, the lime, not limestone, but the lime, this calcium oxide produced, okay, the calcium oxide produced reacts with the silicon dioxide, okay, silicon dioxide, and this gives a product of calcium silicate. This is calcium silicate and this one is called molten slag this is the molten slag that we see here being produced okay this is calcium silicate this is molten ion at what point do we have molten ion when carbon monoxide reacts with the uh, ion uh, ore to produce carbon dioxide and then the molten ion is also produced there okay now we go to the questions what are the questions say so the next question says what is the use of the waste gases so remember that we have waste gases in this blast furnace that are coming out so what is the use of the, uh, the use of the waste gases so the, so the waste gases are basically recycled and they heat up the hot air this hot air is heated up by the waste gases okay so we are saying that the waste gases they are recycled and heat up the hot air so on question uh, on B the answer is on B the answer is what the question is what is the use of the waste gases so we are saying they are recycled and used to heat up the hot air. That's the answer. We move on to the next question. 
C1. C1 says, what is the reducing agent? So, in other words, what has reduced ion uh, O to ion metal? What is it that has been used to produce the ion metal? So, from this, we have realized that ion O was reduced by carbon monoxide to this, okay? So, we are saying this is a reduction uh, process taking place here. And so, we are saying it is e, carbon monoxide c1 the answer is carbon monoxide monoxide okay that is the one which is a reducing uh, agent okay and then the answer the question also proceeds in roman numeral 2 to say describe how the reducing agent is produced so this reducing agent is produced by reacting coke with carbon dioxide okay so we can say uh, it is produced when coke reacts with carbon dioxide to produce carbon monoxide, which is a reducing agent. This is the answer. Then we move forward to question D. D1 says, what is the purpose of each of the following? Okay. What is the purpose of each of the following? One, we have hot air. What is the purpose of hot air? Well, hot air is the one which is used to decompose calcium carbonate so that carbon dioxide and calcium oxide are produced. Okay. So we can say the hot air, hot air, okay. I've written it like this. Hot air is used to decompose calcium carbonate so that carbon dioxide and calcium carb oxide is uh, produced. That is the answer to that question. We move forward to question uh, D2, D Roman numero 2. Uh, what is the question saying? The question is saying that what is the purpose of coke? What is the purpose of coke? Well, to reduce carbon dioxide. Okay. To reduce carbon dioxide. Okay. Coke reduces carbon dioxide uh, to carbon monoxide. So that carbon monoxide can be used to reduce ion uh, ore to ion metal. Then you show the balanced equation in which ion is extracted from the ore. So basically, this is the equation that is needed for that, okay? Where uh, you have this ion ore plus carbon monoxide to give you ion metal and carbon dioxide. So we will re write it here below. So this is the equation, okay? So you need to understand that this is basically what happens. And you need to know these equations which basically happen during this process of extraction of iron. And if you like, you can say the first one is basically combustion, where carbon dioxide, carbon burns in oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. This, is, this may be combustion. Then the second one, you have reduction taking place there where carbon is used to reduce carbon dioxide to produce carbon monoxide. And then here, you can say this is neutralization. Why? Because this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is an acidic uh, oxide, and this is a basic oxide. So these two, when they react, they are going to form this, which is calcium silicate, a neutral substance, so to speak. So this could be called neutralization, and this one is also... Uh, another example of reduction where ion 3 oxide is being reduced to ion metal and carbon dioxide. And then this is thermal decomposition where calcium carbonate is being uh, thermally decomposed to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. So this is basically how you answer this question. You first have to understand what is basically going on here and then be able to understand the questions from the understanding of what is going on here. And then you'll be able to answer the question. Well, viewers, I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much. Bye-bye.